How you doing, folks? There's my ginger. Come on, ginger. Come on. Come on up, ginger. Oh, yeah. Let's show you. Oh, you big gingers. <laughs> How you doing, folks? It is Chris, or, uh, New Year's Day. And uh, I wanted to give you an update, but apparently I can't give you an update because this is now the fifth video that I'll be sending to my probation department. And I am basically having my First Amendment rights sustained because they have taken away my ability to be okay to upload a video. Um, I just want to say that it's been pretty rough over here, but watching what's going on in the world, um, I guess I got it well in some cases. I've had to uh, panhandle <laughs> twice now to go out and ask for money to, so I could go pay task, T-A-S-K, who checks my urine to make sure I'm not on some kind of drugs, which I'm not, and they proved that. But I, it, this is sad. It's really sad that they, they make me do that. They literally, well, literally, maybe they didn't put a gun to me, but it was either that or I either got to go rob someone or go ask for money because I had no money. So anyway, that's here nor there, but it's just sad that they were okay with me. I told them, okay, I'll go panhandle. I, but that's illegal, see? There's a law in Tucson, Arizona that you cannot panhandle. So I guess I was breaking the law and I went on the side of 22nd Street and asked for money until I got an $8.50. And what I got was from my probation department when I told them as I was coming up to three, four dollars, they said, that's the spirit. Yeah, that's the spirit, all right. So Chris Haskell here has been subdued. And then the other day, I went where I was supposed to be at the time I was supposed to be, and I put up a sign. I put up a sign about stop geoengineering on one side and Chris Haskell's story on the other. And it was for perfectly legal, out by the road, in a legal manner, on a, on a post. The judge, I'll tell you right now, the judge on my case said she's not going to suspend my First Amendment rights. She told me that. And she, and she said she's not going to stop me from making and distributing and posting signs. As long as I don't break my probation. Which I wasn't. I... I went to where I was supposed to be at the time I was supposed to be. Other people are out smoking cigarettes. Instead of me going out smoking cigarettes, I legally put a sign up by the road. And I got in trouble for it. Unbelievable. I guess they don't want my message out there. My message is to stop geoengineering the, the radical assault on our air. The poisonous, toxic continents, continents that they're, 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 the contents that they're putting, the particulates, nanoparticulates of aluminum, barium, and strontium that they're putting into all of our air, my probation department's air, my friend's air, every person, whether I like them or not, they're, we're all breathing it in. I personally have had my blood and my urine tested a massive amount of aluminum, barium, and strontium. Where does aluminum in free form come from? Look it up. I just watched the thing the other day and it said, it discusses how aluminum never came in free form. So where's all this free form solid aluminum coming from? Yeah, where do you suppose? Okay, the facts are already there, folks. We're all being toxically poisoned and people like me are being shut down. Well, guess what? They're making me stronger. We are all Chris Haskell. Let's not forget that, guys. I am being tormented daily. I've got four, I think, three or four, I, I can't remember, violations against my probation, all for things I did on YouTube. So, they want to see me go down. They're trying. They test me at least twice a day. I literally have to show up every morning all the way across town at 8 a.m. to uh, breathalyze me at Monday through Friday. And of course, they, they had did that to everyone on today, but hey, I go, hey, it ain't bothering me. It's, Jan it's January 1st, uh, 2019, and you can tell I'm, I've been sick as a dog, 
and I'm just now trying to get over it, but anyway. So they want me to do all these classes from COPE. Uh, that's the organization that helps, you know, mental people. Yeah. And uh, so the problem is I have no mental issues. I have no real issues except for the law coming down on me for telling the, the people, for, for telling the people about the crimes being committed against them. There's my crime. Because, boy, that's illegal as hell. You can't go out and tell the public that about the crimes being committed against them, especially the ones by our government, because that's most of them. So, there we are. Happy New Year's. I, I, I hope this is, well, really, it can't get to be a worse year. I don't, well, I guess for me it's probably going to. Yeah, because they're going to find a way to put me in, in prison, I gather. But all I'm doing is growing stronger and stronger and stronger, and I will lead the community in exposing these, this geoengineering, this, this solar geoengineering, this killing of our entire society. The people at my probation department, they don't need to wake up. That's fine. They can just be like the intelligence of whatever, five-year-old or something. It, that's, that's what it would take to not figure out, to look at the sky, see one day it's totally blue, but the airports aren't closed. And then the next day, all these big white trails, 100 miles long, poured out of the back of an airplane. Oh, that's normal? <laughs> that's normal. Wow. I can't help those people. I can only help the ones that are waking up. So, Chris Haskell and Ginger, come on, Ginger. Show yourself. You're the baby. That's my Ginger. All right. It is a happy new year. Because we've already gotten through one day and I haven't been in jail yet. <laughs> now, anyway, I just want to say that I'm going to stay strong. And now, uh, and that's that. You know, and I could, I'd rather actually uh, come out and panhandle here than I would like to do it on the side of the road. Okay? So, if anyone does have, and trust me, if you don't have definitely enough money to, to, to hand out a little bit, to help out people that need it, don't send me a dime, please. If anything, send it to the people in California that just lost their homes and lost everything in their life. At least I got something left. I want to show you this. This is, a, I guess, a, a tweaker's fucking heaven here. It's somebody uh, built this thing. <laughs> All right, let's let's uh, pan down a little. Because this, this cracks me up. I'll tell you what. It's an electric bike with like 63 sets of lights on it. <laughs> a couple wires. <laughs> so a friend of mine brought it to me to, you know, see if we can get it working. Look at there. All righty. We got it off. You want a bike? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Miss Gingers. You do. She is such a beautiful. All right, thank you folks, and have a happy New Year's. Chris Askell out.